everybody i am back with a new trailer review or just tra trailer reaction video they just released agatha all agatha all along uh disney plus trailer or teaser trailer you go and check it out uh we're gonna try to get through this uh fairly quickly because i got a lot of stuff to cover today and uh I want to make sure I cover my bases because I had to skip over a couple of things this past Saturday. Uh, so I couldn't really uh, give the necessary time to it uh, while I wanted to do. But I'm here now. Uh, follow me in the links in the description below. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this trailer. So we're going to get this booted up right away. Not a lot of people have, uh, sorry, I got the window open because I don't want to sit there and burn up in this house. Uh, you know, the Disney right now, as of late, especially with the Star Wars Acolyte, has not been doing all that great. Uh, but I don't know. I like magic stuff, so, like, I'm definitely going to at least check out the first three episodes to see if I'm into it or not personally i think we didn't need a agatha show she's not like a character that re that requires a tv show but it's just disney making a as soon as like a one side character get popular in one of their shows they want, they're going to try to figure out a way to spin it to make them have their own show because they gotten so popular this woman had her own freaking theme song. But in my personal opinion, I don't think everything needs... That's why people like getting fatigued because you're trucking out a bunch of shows that probably half of which didn't need one. That's just my opinion. But let's begin. But the actress is amazing. Another beautiful day. Surprised to see you out here, Detective. Jane Doe, found her down here by the water. Cause? Blunt force trauma. What happened to you? I have a lead in the case. But I can't shake this feeling. I'm seeing it wrong. Is this really how you see yourself? That witch is gone, leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Claw your way out. I miss the glory days. She took every bit of power I had. But I can be that witch again. Well, the gang's all here. Let's hit the road. I'm gonna walk the witch's road. The road is a death wish. Join me. in her right mind would join Agatha Harkness's coven. <gasps> Not looking for right-minded witches as it happens. <laughs> Sweetheart, you okay? that you know that uh that boy uh, I don't know I, the, the kid 
Okay, clearly she's trying to get her, <clears throat> excuse me, her powers back after what happened in the WandaVision and uh, she kind of pushed uh, Wanda into her role as the infamous Scarlet Witch. And then she used her powers to trap Agatha in her little mindscape, whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not really like super jazzed to see this show. It doesn't look as egregious as Acolyte, so I'll be more willing to give it a chance. But I don't know what's up with that kid because it's supposed to be starting some kind of coven of witches, which typically is female. You know, you know, male magic users will be considered warlock. But I don't know. You got a Gen Z guy, partly in the LGBTQ plus community, clearly trying to push into the get the Gen Z crowd on board. But you would think after the infamous Agatha Harkness character, that should have been more of a draw on his own. Uh. Aubrey Plaza, I like a lot. Uh, don't say it here, no more. Please come on. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, Aubrey Plaza, great actress. You know, um, Catherine Hahn, amazing actress. Oh, and did y'all know? In recent years, in Marvel Comics, they've been slowly but surely changing Agatha from a known old lady who shows up as supporting characters from various magic users, specifically uh, uh, Wanda, uh, like Scarlet Witch comics, and slowly but surely they've been trying to de-age her in the comics because... Rumor has it, Kevin Feige got aligned to the Marvel comic industry where it's like, hey, we're doing something with this character. Can you change it up so it align with what we're doing? Instead of just leaving it alone, let them do their own thing. But you look in the comics, she's like young, or at least not like teenager, but it's like, you know, try to match around Catherine Hahn's age, I guess, where she's relatively young looking. Rather than a decrepit old lady, which is just her. And just can't nothing be separate anymore. <clears throat> if people are too dumb to understand uh, that comics are going to be very different from what you see on TV. If they can't get it, that's their hang up. Yeah, like I said, I'm not all that jazzed with this show. Uh, but I'll give it a chance with the first three episodes because... Rule of thumb, you're trying to get into a show, they got to hook you in the first three episodes. Ideally, you know, in the first pilot. Uh, that's one of the problems with WandaVision, where it's like it took the third or fourth episode before people really got on board. Like, my stepmother, like, she's been trying to get into these uh, shows since Disney Plus really started popping off. And... She couldn't, like, she's calling and asking, like, hey, like, are you watching this WandaVision? Is it any good? Because, like, you know, the first couple of episodes was kind of boring. I had to inform her, I think after the, four, after the fourth episode dropped, that it started really picking up speed. So I had to tell her, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, it does get better. So, But that's a problem in and of itself. People should not have to, like, these writers behind the scenes... I'm not sure what's going on recently with Marvel and more specifically with Star Wars as well. If you don't got no legit competent writers in the writer's room, then it doesn't matter what you uh, regurgitate out to the populace because not everybody's going to be clapping like seals with whatever you give us. You know, we have some discernment and some judgment as consumers of your product. And wherever you give us, we will tell you our honest opinion. And if you give us crap, we're going to call you out on it. So it behoove you to make sure that the writing 
from the jump is up to snuff. And it shouldn't take the third or the fourth episode or halfway through, you know, before things, you know, really start to percolate. I, I don't know how many times I hear from people because it's like Parks and Rec. People use that as an example of the first season, you know, is only OK. It isn't like, you know, well liked. But by the next season moving forward, it started really like turning out quality and that's a problem too I mean but I guess it's about getting your footing but like I said that's the rule the first three episodes that's the you know law of average that should be able to at least give you an inkling whether or not you're going to stay on to this thing and continue watching going back to Agatha Harkness hopefully the writing is substantial <clears throat> but right now, mm, uh, and it's not even like the actors' fault. I just don't think we need an Agatha show. It's like, you know, it's the backdoor pilots to crap that just slow down with bringing out stuff that we don't honestly care about. I don't want to sit there and try to watch a uh, a show that's supposed to be. Mm, about like uh, the Hulk, but then the Hulk meets up with this, you know, uh, bartender. Uh, no matter of fact, Kite Man is a good example. Harley Quinn show very popular. <clears throat> now they're bringing out like a Kite Man show. Why do you need a Kite Man show? He's popular enough somehow, like because he, he doesn't all that funny. It definitely doesn't warrant because he has a stupid catchphrase. Definitely does not want an entire show dedicated to him. He is a C-list character. And sometimes you can elevate C-list characters to A-list. But he's just one of those prime examples that in Agatha 2 does not require a show dedicated on their own. They're supporting characters. That's all they need to be. And that's all they will be. Sometimes that is just the case. That's just my opinion. Anyway. Uh... I will see you guys in a little bit with my review of the final season of Batman TAS with the new adventures of Batman and Robin. It's going to be fairly quick, you know, only 24 episodes. And um, after that, I, ah, crap. Uh, I, I got a comic book review of House of X, Powers of X. So look forward to that. Uh, it's probably going to be a long one, so I'm trying to get through all these as quickly as I can. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Take care.